there, today I'm going to talk about why the Morphe Fluidity Foundation is bad for dry skin. I am going to share this by looking at the ingredients in the Morphe Fluidity Foundation and how these ingredients are bad for dry skin. On the other hand, we're going to talk about how these ingredients might make this Morphe Foundation ideal for somebody who has oily skin. So let's just get into the first ingredient. So the first ingredient is cyclopentasiloxane, which is a liquid silicone. Silicones help the product spread easily and evenly out on the skin. And this one in particular is volatile. Volatile means that it evaporates easily at room temperature. If you've ever used like hand sanitizer, which is mostly alcohol, you know that it evaporates pretty much as soon as you start to rub it in. So this also happens here. This is gonna evaporate quickly. I was watching Nicole Concilio's review and she said you have to work with it quickly. And ingredients like this are what make you have to work quickly because it evaporates quickly. And it also acts as a mild water repellent, which is what makes it more long wearing. It leaves the skin looking really smooth, but over time you might start to feel a little dry. So the second ingredient in this formula is water. It's not very common that water is not going to be the first ingredient. Usually is, but in extreme full coverage foundations or concealers, sometimes it will be the second ingredient. And in this case, they were going for a full coverage concealer, so it makes sense. Because of less water, it's probably also not going to feel very hydrating. The third ingredient is isododecane. I did talk about this in my Makeup Forever concealer video, so I will leave that up there if you want. But basically, this is a pretty main component in long wear liquid lipsticks. In fact, in the Jeffree Star and the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, this is the first ingredient. Like the cyclopentasiloxane, it is also volatile, so it evaporates quickly. It can be used as a solvent, in which it can be used to dissolve things like silicones. It is very thin and light, and it'll help them spread out over the skin but it evaporates easily, and it also prevents the evaporation of water from the skin. It's gonna minimize color transfer and leave a matte finish, which is usually not ideal for people with dry skin, but this can be a benefit for people with oily skin. A couple of people swatched some shades on their hand and they had trouble getting them off. And this is because it is similar in ingredients to how a liquid lipstick behaves. It is meant to be long wearing, and this is why it could dry out the skin. I'm not sure how long it would actually wear if you were to wear this all day, but I'd recommend using an oil-based makeup remover just to ensure you get everything off at the end of the day if you do purchase this foundation. And if you like videos like this where I'm using my chemist background to research the ingredients and report back to you, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. The next ingredient is methyl methacrylate cross polymer. So this is a film former, again, long wearing, and it also absorbs excess sebum and oil. As a dry person, that's not something that you really want to happen. You tend to want to be as hydrated as possible and having something that absorbs those oils isn't very good. That's why dry people with drier skin have a lot of problems with powders because it usually absorbs any sort of oil in your face. For someone who's oily, maybe you do need some oil control and this could be a benefit to you. So the butylene glycol in here is one of the few ingredients that is slightly moisturizing, but it might not be enough to counteract the effects of all the other ingredients. But this ingredient in there does help the product from drying out. Then continuing down the list, there are a bunch of other silicone based ingredients, which to generally people with drier skin, this isn't the best. You do need some of them in there though to help spread it out. Otherwise, it's not gonna spread out as well. But in this case, there is quite a bit and that might be why people with drier skin aren't enjoying this as much. But for somebody with oily skin, this might be something that you like. And the last ingredient I will talk about is mica. So this particular ingredient kind of is used in a lot of translucent powders, makes it kind of have like a glow, and this will kind of offset all of the dry properties. I think this might be why a lot of people initially really liked how it looked because the finish is gonna look really nice. But overall, over time, this formula is gonna kind of be drier. A lot of these ingredients aren't ideal for somebody who has dry skin because of the properties they have. But if you have oily skin, this might be what you are looking for. Morphe launched the Fluidity Foundation in January, and in the winter, people's skin tends to be drier. I know mine definitely is. So I wonder if it might have been better if they would have launched it a little bit later in the year when people could have tried it and maybe it would have been better for hotter people's skin isn't as dry. And a lot of people compared this to like a liquid lipstick for your face. It has similar properties to that of a liquid lipstick, but these ingredients are used in other foundations. For example, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation does contain isododecane, cyclopentasiloxane, 
you know, top three ingredients are the same. I'm gonna link those products as well so you can kind of look at those ingredients and see how they're similar if you would like to. And I'm also gonna link all of my sources that I have used so that way you can look at that as well and do some further research if you would like to. So let me know down below if you're gonna pick up this foundation. I personally am not gonna pick this up because I do like glowier looking foundations as of late. And if you do like these kind of videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that way you'll see more of them and give me a like so I know to make more videos like this. With that, I'll see you in my next video.